All right, hello everyone, and welcome to another indie horror game. This one based on an episode of Black Mirror, season three, episode three to be precise. Shut up and dance. I think I vaguely remember that one. As I recall, it ended up in a forest. Uh, you find yourself on a train late night. There's but one other person in it. He's nervous, often checking his phone. He got off, but curiously enough, forgot his phone. It's buzzing. There's a new message, which is also the name of the game. New message. So there we go, I've got a stranger's phone. And it's C to bring up the phone, alright. Oh, hold right mouse button to interact. Okay, so let's see. Dorothy Square Metro, packages in Oscar Street. We'll be watching. Right, well, yeah, this is kind of familiar to me. If, if you've seen the Black Mirror episode, you probably get the uh, the concept. But right, yeah. Um, if you want to play this, you certainly can. It's free. Just look down below in the description, alright? This was made for the TV Game Jam, where the game had to be inspired by a TV episode. Alice. Voce e voce? Or voce e voce? Yes! I can speak European. <laughs> I think that might be Portuguese, I want to say. Right. Okay. What does this say? Dorothy Square Metro, there you go. We're not in Kansas anymore. Ha ha, tee hee. Right, so... Oscar Street. Uh, do we have a map, or is there a map I could have a look at? Someone lying on the bench over here. Hey mate, is this Oscar Street? He looks like he's been half eaten by a rock, but I guess that's just a blanket. Right, um... Let's see... What is that over there? I think it could be a bus stop? Do we have a map or something over here? No, not on this side anyway. Not even a timetable. Right, uh... I, <laughs> I don't think the bus is coming. This way, maybe? For whatever reason, I always have a soft spot for games that are pixelated. I... I don't know. It's like a, a little gimmick that just works for me. What's this? Oh, Oscar Street! Okay, we're in the right spot. Just leads to a couple of vending machines. It's a very strange street. What's this? Oh, okay. Oh. You're watching, eh? Hey. Did you leave me the package? I followed your instructions. Oscar Street. So the package is around here somewhere? Okay, let's see if we can find the package. Probably not a, uh, a can of drink. <laughs> okay, yeah, not much of a street, really. Oh, hang on, no, I, I see something. What was it? Hold right mouse? Uh, oh, yeah, that, that works. What the fuck? <laughs> Why make use hold right mouse? Oh, well, hang on, that was loud. Uh, okay, good. Place it under park bench. Okay. Wow, okay, so yeah, you just have to hold it in for maybe like three, four seconds, it feels like. Then you can actually sort of interact with whatever you're looking at. Or you don't. You just sort of stare at something you can't interact with, I guess. But yeah, let's place the package underneath the bench and uh, disturb the guy who's not actually there anymore. Right. Alright. Let's maybe take a look at this first. Do I want to go in? Probably not, but right. Let's uh, stare at the handle. <laughs> Okay, I've just been staring at it for five seconds. I look like a moron now. Uh, that obviously doesn't work. Uh, okay. Right. So, package under the bench, yeah? So, just zoom in like this. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, very good. Head over to the warehouse in Cassowary Street. Cassowary Street, okay. Down here, possibly? 
Well, you'd think that would probably come up the other end of that one, but... Well, let's see. Uh, looks like a dead end, to be honest. Is oh! I didn't have to look at that for five seconds. Uh, the globe. Uh, death toll rises. Crime scene do not cross. Right. Um, how do we get out of this? I can pull out the phone. Uh, escape seems to work. Okay. So, yeah, this was made for a game jam. And, you know, it was made in, I think, maybe a week or two weeks. So I'm expecting, you know, there's going to be unfinished elements, bugs here and there. Um, odd controls. I really don't understand that, to be perfectly honest. Do you think everyone needs to go through this building to reach Cassowary Street? Somehow I doubt it. Yeah, definitely can't get through that door, <laughs> no matter how long I stare at the handle. Uh, and there's no offshoots to this, no, it's just been uh, bricked up for some reason. Hmm. I guess that explains why there's no timetable. Uh, maybe we get the train to Cassowary Street, we just need to go get off at a different station? Maybe it's not around this area? Okay. Um, yeah, we got out of that one, so let's get back in it, I guess. As I get advertised to. What is that? What's that supposed to be? A chicken nugget burger. Woo! Whatever will they think of next. <laughs> I don't think that door was designed with this station in mind. <laughs> uh, right. Um, uh, use. <laughs> Just stare. Just stare somewhere. Stare blankly in the carriage and maybe it'll go off to the next station. Somehow I don't think this is what we're meant to do. No, okay, fine. Uh, I guess I missed something. The, you know, well, the door actually said it was locked. Do we need to find something to unlock it? Are we looking for a key? Does that lead to Cassowary Street? Could you maybe give me some hints, Mr. Message Man? Should be scouring the floor, I suppose. Looking in bins and... Yeah, maybe it's around here. I mean, why else would you come down here? To look at the paper? Is it just the paper? And what's that building over there? What's that for? Looks like a shutter. Maybe a newspaper stand or something? Right. At this point, I'm just going around staring intently for no reason. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a bit weird. Right, well, you know what? Maybe the door's unlocked now? Because I put the package under there, and there was a guy. Maybe he unlocked it for me, you know? No, okay, it's still locked. But it's the only door that I've seen that actually sort of works and is usable, I guess, so there is probably a key around this somewhere. I... I have no idea, man. Can I have a look in the package? I mean, what... what did I just leave under the bench? Nope. No idea. Here. Hang on. Oh! Oh, okay. <laughs> Not on the floor. Hanging from a tree. Can I pick it up? Bloody hell. Yeah, seriously. If you're, if you're gonna do a game like this, don't have hold right click be your use button. It's just so odd. Have it be nice and snappy, you know? Alright, well let's try that door again. And let's hope it goes to the right street. I don't know why I'm following these instructions. I mean, I'm... I, I might have the phone, but I'm not the phone's owner. I'm not the one being blackmailed, right? Oh, <laughs> I thought that was an alleyway, it's a doorway. And again, I'm just staring very intently, so, yeah. 
What's this? Oh shit! Okay. Fucking Spider-Man. He's uh, he's changed his get up a little bit. That was actually kind of freaky because I wasn't exactly sure what I was looking at there. Right. So there's a warehouse somewhere around here. There's a couple of boxes. The back end of a lorry. We might be in the right spot. Are they all eyes? Yeah, I don't know. Couple of bottles. Oh, okay, we got some stairs. <laughs> it's, it's so hard to see, it's too dark. Cassowary Street, we're in the right spot, good. Okay, so there should be a warehouse around here somewhere. I guess in here. Oh, okay. Leaving your phone behind is disobeying. Punish him. Wait, he's the guy who dropped his phone? Oh, oh I've got a gun! Oh, I see. Uh, right. There's someone watching me. Maybe I can shoot them instead of him. It's always best to execute someone when you're not paying attention. I totally missed. <laughs> that was automatic. What happened? Oh. Your choices have consequences. You have no idea what your free will has cost you. Ah, oh, okay. So I didn't shoot him, I actually shot the eyes. I shot into the darkness. What does it cost me? Wait, hang on. What am I looking at here? There's people- oh god, what the fuck? Are they getting closer or...? Why didn't you obey? Because I'm a cheeky cunt, I don't know. Yeah, I'm stuck, I can't move. Okay. That suggests to me that that is not the only ending, so we've got a game made in 15 days that has multiple endings, so I'm actually gonna go through and maybe shoot the guy this time and see what happens. I suppose at least this time I won't nonsensically stare at doors and I'll find the key immediately, so there's that. Okay, then here we are, back in the cassowary warehouse. Man, that's a frightening thought, a warehouse full of cassowaries. Right, yeah, so this time I'm going to shoot you, the, uh, the owner of the phone. And this time I did not miss. Oh, okay, yeah, it's different. Neat. Okay, so... Uh, sure, no messages this time. Where am I? Uh, okay. Can we use this? It's, <laughs> it's a button, it shouldn't be locked, but okay. Uh, I guess we do, so we need to, what, sort out the power, or...? I don't know. What about this door? <laughs> Why can't there just be a key you hear? Whoa! Fucking hell! Bloody hell. I was having a bit of a giggle and that freaked me the fuck out. What, what just happened? One of the windows smashed by the sounds of it. But it looks fine. Oh shit, okay. Someone took a tumble? Who is that guy? Oh, he's got a phone. Oh, and a key as well. Okay, maintenance set. Oh, there you go. So I needed the key for the button, I guess, for the uh, for the door. Take his phone. It's blue screened, I guess, so it's not working. Is that the reason you're not picking it up? I guess, right? Shit. All right, well, hang on. It's hard to see, but there's someone up there. Someone pushed him. Of course they did. Alright, well... Let's go, uh... Take care of the assailant, shall we? <laughs> I really like looking at hexagons. No buttons? Oh. <laughs> okay. You know what? Yeah, I'm actually kind of impressed with this game. Due to the fact that there's this whole other bit that you don't necessarily need to see. Uh, 
eyes. Whoa, what? that's the same thing that crawled up the fucking wall. That's freaky. All right. No button on this end, although <laughs> it looks like this corner of the wall might react the same. No? Okay. Right, where is this guy? He was up this side, wasn't he? So what smashed? Was it some of this? It looks fine. Maybe, no, maybe it wasn't this high, actually. Right, I, uh, I can't seem to find the guy. He's not on the floors below me, either. I can still see the phone down there. Uh, I guess let's start staring at doors. No. Oh! Well, I got something. I... I don't think that has anything to do with the door, though. What is that? That's like the bottom of the screen at the top now, isn't it? E oh, hang on, EFB. Jump. Jump. Okay. Is there a jump key? It's probably like a hold middle click in this game. Fucking hell. Okay, yeah, I just, I'm trying to figure out how to do it. It's coming out with EFB. Do I have to hit that? Is that the jump button? Nope. I, I really don't know. Uh, r bloody hell. Okay. Maybe I'll just hop back into the elevator. Get <laughs> uh, I guess it wasn't fixed. Okay. Oh. Ah, there you go. So did I jump or not? It Ooh. It's that weird symbol on the door again. Okay, well there you go, that's the other ending. Uh, the, the main ending, the canon ending possibly, where we actually shoot the owner of the phone and then take a tumble, or, or I'm not really sure exactly what happened there. And why was that door there at the end and it wasn't before? Very strange. Who's crawling up and down the wall? Um, many questions, but overall, a pretty interesting experience. Wasn't expecting multiple endings, that was a nice bonus. And uh, yeah, as I said before, I've got like a soft spot for pixelated games and I was jumped a few times, and, you know, there's many games I play that don't give me that sort of reaction, so it's got that at the very least. Odd control scheme. I don't really like the control scheme. Aside from that, I've got no major complaints. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. Now this voce e voce, or voce e voce? Yes! I can speak European. Not even a timetable. Right, uh... I, <laughs> I don't think the bus is coming. Uh, oh, yeah, that, that works. What the fuck? <laughs> Why make use hold right mouse? Well, hang on, that was loud. Yeah, definitely can't get through that door. <laughs> no matter how long I stare at the handle. <laughs> I don't think that door was designed with this station in mind. Right. At this point, I'm just going around staring intently for no reason. What's this? Oh, shit, okay. <laughs> I totally missed. <laughs> that was automatic. I suppose at least this time I won't nonsensically stare at doors and I'll find the key immediately, so there's that. Okay, then here we are, back in the cassowary warehouse. Man, that's a frightening thought, a warehouse full of cassowaries. Right, yes. <laughs> Why can't there just be a key, you hear? Whoa! Fucking hell! Nice. Whoa. Maybe I'll just hop back into the elevator. Get... <laughs> uh, I guess it wasn't fixed.